Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Spring developers encounter. How to convert Spring Field Injection to Constructor Injection using IntelliJ IDEA. Our viewer is convinced that switching to Constructor Injection will not only improve code quality, but also make unit testing easier. They're looking for a utility that can automate this conversion, especially since manually changing numerous field injected fields can be quite tedious. So let's explore how we can streamline this process. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To convert spring field injection to constructor injection in IntelliJ IDEA, we first need to identify the fields that are currently using the at auto wired annotation. Next, we can use IntelliJ IDEA's built-in refactoring tools to automate this process. Select the class where the field injection is used. Now, right-click on the class name and navigate to Refactor. From the drop-down, choose Convert to Constructor Injection. IntelliJ IDEA will automatically generate a constructor for you, injecting the required dependencies as parameters. Finally, review the changes to ensure everything is correctly set up. This method saves time and reduces manual errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To convert spring field injection to constructor injection in IntelliJ IDEA, start by searching and replacing at auto-wired private with at auto-wired private final. This will trigger an error about final fields not being initialized. Next, use the auto completion feature by pressing Alt plus Enter. This will prompt you to create a constructor. You can then select the fields you want to include. Remember, private is just an example. The key point is to make the fields final, which will help IntelliJ generate the required constructor. And that's it guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.